going on guys? So your side spot here. Uh, got an updated deck profile on my white, blue, black deck. Um, made some changes to it. I was uh, getting to the bottom of my deck a lot. I just had so much draw power, so I, I had to add a couple cards. I mean, I think I made it 44 instead of the 40 I was running before. Uh, I made some changes. I didn't like some cards. I'm also testing some cards right now. Uh, this deck's going to keep on changing, but I felt it was time for a, an updated build because uh, my last build ch has changed a lot, I, I think. I'm pretty sure it has. So yeah, let's just get started with the deck. Uh, for the two drops, you got two Ice Blades. I really like this card. Uh, it's it's uh, pretty versatile. You can either you know bounce your own cards and reuse them or get rid of threats on their, their smaller threats on their board, uh, get rid of blockers to go for game quicker. You can do a lot of nifty things with it. I really like it. Next up, you got three Sunstalk Seeds. Um, just a nice blocker. I found that uh, it's a bit better than uh, Skeeter Swarmer right now. Uh, it can it can block a lot more than Skeeter Swarmer can. The only thing, the only advantage Skeeter Swarmer has over this card is that it can block some of the bigger cards like Keeper of Dawn and uh, Razor Kinder. There's not a lot of 4,000 beaters right now, so I really just like this guy better. Um, and then finally, to top things off, or to finish things off in the two drop, we got three Specter Claws and a Skeeter Swarmer. So yeah, this is just another blocker in the two drop zone. And then these are obviously great discard cards, especially since I run three Keeper of Dawn, which I'll get to later. On to the three drops, I got three Logo Scan. Draw power is awesome. I got two Star Lanterns. This has been a pretty good card. What I really like about it is it's from uh, from testing. It's been like the immediate card to remove from my opponent. If they're gonna remove one card on my board, it's usually gonna be this. And uh, what that means is I can summon my Grand Gur later in the game, and it they won't have uh, as much removal to get rid of it. So that kind of makes this card a little. I mean, that make this kind of supports my Grand Gur. It also is just a really good blocker. I like its second ability that it taps a card. It can. It's pretty much two blocks in one in that case, and it helps me set up for another play. Usually it makes it so they're not going to attack, like, for a while. And yep, that's why I run that. And then I got two two blind beetles. <laughs> um, only running two. I kind of want up it to three. It's just really good. The thing about it is I'm almost never going to... No, I'm definitely never going to drop it like, turn three. So I, you know, it's going to be a bit of a later card when... My opponent has more of a board, and I can know what I want to kill with it. But it is really good, and I'm really thinking of upping it to three, since these are my only three drops. I only have seven. I'm not sure if that's too little, but that's all I'm running right now. I feel like I need more. Now I run just a lot of four drops. you got three Hydra Spies, two Spy Missions. Uh, I'm running only two, or two, because I needed more blue cards, and... Uh, where was it? I needed more blue cards and, you know, a plus one is nothing to overlook. And only one goes by. Uh, not sure how I feel about this card, but, you know, I, I was watching Earth Powers videos and CVH seems to really like it and I talked to him about it and he said, he's. I mean, I tried to convince him otherwise. Uh, he was running two fumes and two ghost spies, I think. And uh, I was like, why don't you run a, a fumes over the, the second ghost spy? And, he just said he liked the pressure that it put on his opponent, as well as a couple of other thing, other things. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give it a try, see how I feel about it. And I got three fumes because I just really like this card. Uh, three bone blades removal. Yep, yeah, and that's the four drop slot, and just a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, for the five drops, you got three keeper of dawn. Uh, what I'm usually getting with this is Spectre Claw. I just like recycling my Spectre Claws, discarding their whole hand. It's super fun, annoying my opponent, not letting them have a hand. That's usually that's usually how this deck uh, works. And yeah. Next up is a Teleport. I just threw this in. Well, I was running it before in my other deck profile, I think. Then I took it out because I didn't really like it. But I'm um, really liking uh, returning cards back to my opponent's hand a lot more than I did uh, previously. And uh, this is just a uh, pretty good target for a Keeper of Dawn to get back. And I can get rid of like any of the problems I have at the moment. And it lets me draw a card, so 
It always replaces itself. It's just really good. You got three Glurgles. It's just really good. Uh, for six drops, you got two Grangers. Um, I could be running... I, I'm running this because I want to know what to go for him. I could be running the the turn four or five thousand light guy. And I was, but then I uh, I realized that I may as well just, you know, up it to this guy. I don't have any six drops anyway, and this can kill Granger. I mean, this can gil kill Gilliflame as well as uh, stay on the field, as and the other four or five thousand guy d trades with him. This just kills him. It also stops uh, the big double breakers that are out right now, and when they have tap guys, this guy can attack them as well. It's the, it's the biggest guy in the game. It's really good. As for seven drops, you got one Trox, one Alcadius. These are my finishers. I'm thinking about uh, adding a third double breaker to my deck. I probably should do that because two finishers doesn't seem like enough in my opinion. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one I like better, which is why I'm only running one of each as opposed to you know two of one. Uh, I like them both for different reasons, but I really like this one more. I think I might cut this. Thing is. Uh, I was running this mostly because I didn't have as many light creature cards in my deck as I did dark. I have like 17 darks and 13 lights, even with the one in one. So yeah, that's pretty much the reasoning there. I got two Razor Kinders. Uh, this card, one of my favorite cards. Removal and a big beater is pretty nice. Then the cap... I keep saying that. To finish the deck off, not to cap the deck off, uh, three Terror Bits. The best dark spell. And that's the deck. I hope you enjoyed it. Didn't really want to explain it too much what because I had the deck profile previously, and this is just an updated one. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, comment, do whatever you guys want to do. And that's the video.